Well, hello there. I, same process with this guitar. Is I oh, put new strings on it, and I tell you what, tuning this thing after you put strings on. Now I I always worry about this guitar because this guitar the head was busted off of it. So uh, I didn't keep the package for the strings for this guitar. I use an Ernie Ball Earthwood string on this guitar. They're again middle of the road, ten bucks a pack, right? Uh, same thing. Uh, lots of times I'll have to change my boat every two months, two months or so. And again, I just go by when it starts to sound crappy and I can't make it sound good anymore. And like, what? this is what will happen is I just stop playing it because I can't make it sound good and I'm just frustrated. So I'll put it aside and that's usually a good sign it's time to change strings. Uh, I just use a, I use a light strings on this guitar because like I say, the head was busted right off of it. And, jeez, how about a mic, hey? Put the mic on. Uh, yeah, so I get a bit nervous. And the guitar shop told me, they said, you might not want to use a very heavy string on this guitar in case the, the, the head, I mean, the head's weak. So, yeah, tune in this thing. It feels like a bomb is going to go off. Because you're building tension, and it's a it's a string, but it feels like a spring on a, on a car. God, you go slow because now another thing with this guitar and these guitars, as I found also, is these pins. These pins are held in with tension, so it's tension on the spring that hold them in, and you kind of seat it in together. Um, I've had cases where I'm trying to tune this and this thing goes ka-ping and goes flying through the ceiling and the whole thing comes unwound and you basically duck for cover when that happens because you feel like the whole thing's coming apart. It's a bit of a handful and scary thing tuning these guitars up. And again, especially with my headstock being weak, it's really easy for me to feel like the whole thing's going to come apart and just bust. So uh, anyways, I'm going to keep tuning this. I'm not going to record the whole thing because it's literally me doing this. Feel the tension in the guitar building. And it's me looking like this the whole time. Is she gonna blow? So, anyways, it's painful sometimes. But uh, yeah, I use light strings on this. Acoustic guitar strings are a lot thicker. They're a lot heavier strings than, uh, again, because it's the string and the body of the guitar resonating that makes the sound. And electric guitar, it's the amplifier that makes the sound, so it doesn't have to be as, as severe. Anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this, because you're going to see me cry like a girl if one of these blows or the thing jumps off, or God forbid I hear a crack from the guitar. And no one wants to see that. I'll come back when it's a little closer to tune, and we can finish it up, but... Yeah, it's a scary thing tuning up a guitar after you change strings because, like I say, as you're building, 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 you feel like the whole thing's going to just pop. And I have had it where, like I say, this way, it went flying through the, and hit the ceiling, and the whole thing, you, you figure you broke your guitar. It's a bit nerve-wracking. But anyways, it has to get done. It's maintenance. It comes with the territory. So have a good one. I'll come back when this is solved. If, uh, again, I think I under... I didn't leave enough of a tail on these. I did only this far instead of that far. And it means the wine looks a lot better. But like I say, that other guitar, all of a sudden my string let loose. I'm hoping I haven't just wasted uh, a pack of strings on this. But we'll see what happens. Have a good one. Okay, I got five out of six. Okay. 
and then you stretch them. Watch these, you stretch them. And then you do it a couple more times. You stretch them, bend them, and then re, uh, retune it again, and usually it's going up some more. And you do that three or four times, and hopefully it's good. But I tell you, while you're doing it, it feels like it, you can just feel the tension building in your guitar, and it feels like it's going to explode at any moment. So hopefully I'll get there. There, we're getting there. We're getting there. Does it change anything about the guitar? Yes and no. It's the same notes. It's the same strings. It's the same damn fingers. But uh, the notes just sound crisp. And the attack is better. And they will stay in tune longer when you're new. And you got to get them worn in a bit. Again, I'll stretch them a few more times and retune it a few more times. But uh, yeah, it's like a whole new guitar sometimes. Everything's crisp and clean and fresh again. And like I say, I do the same thing. I clean the fretboard off and polish. Uh, yeah, that shorter wind didn't hurt me this time. But I think um, next time I'm going to be a lot more careful and leave a little longer wind and kind of deal with that. But yeah, again, these are, I use a Honey Ball Earthwood string. It's just what I used, 10 bucks a piece. And every two months I'm good to go. And yeah, I didn't bust any this time, so that's good. And I got her in tune and the guitar didn't explode, so problem solved. So hopefully, again, I'll practice some songs maybe this afternoon and maybe tomorrow. I can, maybe I can get something done here. But again, you got to do, uh, any craftsman has to do maintenance to their tools, and you got to feed your obsession. If you're going to be obsessed with something, you got to keep it. you got to keep your maintenance up, and it's just what has to be done. And again, it's only every month or two. Oh, that sounded terrible. Uh, every once in a while, I think I'll change this change the gauge of strings or a different brand or something like that but everybody seems to say when you start messing with the gauge and thickness of strings then you have to get the guitar set up again and that's not something i want and again i can't go much thicker because this guitar i'm scared it's going to bust the head or something like that um some people say go with light strings light strings are easy to bend uh, and it's easier it might be easier on your fingers but again i like those heavy notes <laughs> I like the heavy notes, so I'll probably stick with a thicker gauge. Again, some people said that uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan played with 9 gauge, played with really light strings. So, um, like everything else with this instrument, it's all in your fingers, man. People say um, the fingers will give you the tone you're looking for. It still sounds like me, but it sounds a little better. Anyways, have a good day. I got her all strings, strings changed, and hopefully I can play some music tomorrow. Have a good one.